Twas the day before Christmas, when all through the place, lots of creatures were stirring to launch a thing into space. The pages were hung on the consoles with care, in hopes that the countdown soon would be there. And everyone sporting their well-fitted masks had just settled down to complete all their tasks. I began to think back on the last 20 years, and how much it was chock full of blood, sweat, and tears. Back before we had hardware, strange as it seems, Lots of meetings with WebEx, you know, before teams. We got used to hearing our contractors holler, each change that you make will cost one million dollars. We tried to make sense of everything that was said, while visions of hardware danced in our heads. But soon there was hardware, I began to feel faint. Just an image on a view graph, it most certainly ain't. Allow me some license here with the word soon. A few years had passed since we sat in that room. Before me I saw, with my gaze quite intense, an isom structure and four instruments. But wait, there was more. I said, what could it be? Eleven electronics boxes in a grand IEC. An OTE backplane so strong that it holds a great big humongous mirror that folds. OTE and isom together make Otis, named for a town drunk. Think people will notice? And if you might think that all this just might be enough, we needed a spacecraft to support all this stuff. And because we wanted something else to unfold, a deployable sun shield so stuff can get cold, we designed it and built it and tested it too, and got it all ready to send to L2. We put all this together with a grand bit of luck and with a grand share of problems, but hey, what the heck? There was all the usual stuff, all the technical woes, but we also encountered more formidable foes. Mother Nature, for one, and she took us by storm, and each time she took on a different form. The blizzard that hit during Isom Cryovac, Snowmageddon, we called it, as a matter of fact. At Johnson, we had the wild hurricane fly, Harvey its name with much rain from the sky. And with all the time that we spent out in L.A., we needed some earthquakes just to brighten our day. And if we thought that was all we could take, a worldwide pandemic for the icing on the cake. Still dealing with COVID, we had much to do. Send JW and ourselves to a place called Karoo. I could write a whole tome just about this campaign, but I'll limit it here to a couple refrains. Trip breaker lost power, a bad UPS. Onduleur mobile, and its own parking espèce. When the clamp band went bang, it was heard round the world. Upon hearing the news, I bet some people hurled. Communication problems out there in the bath. An RS-422 pair was missing one half. A connector needed rewiring, and it needed it quick. And with the right tool came a running St. Nick. But after all this, we've come to the day to finally send JWST on its way. After all of these memories, my mind has come to the present, where we still have one thing to do. Out on the pad, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my chair to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. When what to my wandering eyes should appear, but an Arion 5, and a payload quite dear. With all its components, most beautiful they are, and all the blood, sweat, and tears that got us this far. I coughed and I gasped, but my composure I regained. I yelled and I shouted and I called them by name. Now near cam, now near spec, now Miri, oh yes. On cooler, on harnesses, on grand FGS. On Ursu, on Ditsy, those great ICPs. On radiator baffles, and more if you please. Oh yes, there is more, the great OTE. The 18-piece mirror is something to see. And just look at that spacecraft, what more can I say? on Sunshield, on Omnis, on great HGA. So much has brought us to this moment now, with no time to wipe the sweat off our brow. And now this is it. It is really goodbye. It's time for you to head to your home in the sky. I yelled myself hoarse as it faded from sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to Webb, a good flight. Merry Christmas.